Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome on back to the Hardcore Minecraft World, where today we're starting off in our farming village. We ended last episode on the mushy, mushroomy pastures of Mooshland over in the Mushroom Island, where I am super excited to get some work rocking over there. But first and foremost, we've got a few things we need to tackle. I would love to get up to level 30 again today, do some more enchanting, and see if we can't get ourselves another pickaxe to be working with here, because that would be absolutely awesome to have for some break in action. But first and foremost, I would thinking we could dive into the nether gather up some of those bone blocks from the soul sand valley on the nether side and see if we can't start ourselves off with a brand new field right over in here if you're enjoying all these episodes please be sure to click that like button down below but time to uh, jump into the nether yep we're starting this thing off quick now i've been spending a little bit of time between episodes kind of planning out an area for the mushroom island and also recently just getting into doing some creative mode building again i decided to open up world painter last Friday and took a day off from streaming and just spent a long time just building a very very cool landscape if you want to see some pictures of that they are up on my Instagram and everything like that so I definitely recommend checking them out there's actually a download as well for all of the supporters too but that got me thinking there's all these bone blocks out here that is free bone meal and that is something that I can use to breed two tall flowers which honestly is one of my favorite decorations to use for fields because I just think they look so absolutely beautiful so I figured every single one of these bone blocks we come in here and break down that's nine more two tall flowers that we can use and so I was thinking we make a giant peony field over here to get ourselves started today but while I'm in here since it's uh, still pretty abundant with the quartz and stuff I'm gonna run around and see if I can't get a little bit of experience off of gathering quartz the plan for today is actually to get over to the mushroom island biome and build ourselves a villager breeder so we can get all of that stuff rocking over there I really Really want to start getting villager stuff set up and see if we can't get some very quick access to some super tools and stuff like that so that we can really really start moving forward with turning that into an amazing city this is hardcore after all so i don't want to dilly dally too much waiting for the perfect situation or perfect whatever because if we die we aren't able to finish the product so i want to i want to make sure that we can actually get this project done because you know i've tried to uh, transform mushroom islands once or twice in the past and uh usually the series ends before it gets finished so this time we're actually gonna finish this one speaking of which 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 this is not good not good not good please <laughs> speaking of the series ending hi lava how we doing wow do we have fire production on here oh my god i am glad that i still have those boots on oh i want to replace those with production for it's fine everything's fine it's all fine everything's okay everybody it's fine how are you doing today? So maybe, maybe off of that, we get a nether armor set ready to go with enchants instead of just our overworld creeper proof armor set. So we have our overworld set that's going to have our blast protection, protection fours across the board. And maybe we get a nether one that's got protection fours and fire protection four. That seems like a smart idea. Now, it's quite unfortunate that we have basalt delta on one side and we have crimson forest on the other because basalt deltas, they don't have any quartz inside of them really so that's not a great place to be harvesting it and uh crimson forest is the deadly biome inside of the nether so that kind of really sucks on both sides why am i making this jump i don't know but i did it's fine we survived it so anywhere i can go from here okay we're uh we're really channeling our inner parkour player over here okay here we go oh that was so good first shot first shot okay you want to do anything too you see what i just did to your friend over there yeah you stay in the sky you stay in the sky floating marshmallow. I'm gonna take out the marshmallow before he decides that he doesn't like me calling him a marshmallow. There we go. Mining quartz in the nether has to be probably one of the best ways to get early game experience if you're willing to jump in here and do it because holy cow, we've only got that much quartz and it's taken us a good chunk of the way to 30. What did we start at today? Like 26, 25? Even though I know we can swim in lava for a little bit, I'm gonna still try and block this off. And there we go, the nice little dingy ding of hitting level 30. Time to head back on home through the portal and see if we can't get a good enchant for a secondary pickaxe for ourselves. Hey, big guy, I'm just gonna walk right on by, okay? You don't look very marshmallowy, not like your friends. Nope, you look great. This guy, on the other hand, seems to mean business. I've learned how to do this. Oh, look at that, I'm so good. What did we get, what did we get? Projectile protection, four unbreaking three gold boots. Wow, that dude was geared. Back in the overworld now where it is the lovely daytime and raining. Not as lovely as daytime. Okay, well, maybe we can skip this through a thunderstorm, but I doubt it. And no luck. Okay, I guess we're staying inside for the clips that we're recording here. Oh no, the sheep that escaped the pen died on the berry bush. Oh, it's so sad. Dear diary, mark note, do not put berry bushes near villagers on Mooshland. 
Efficiency four, and what else are we gonna get with this guy right over here? Ooh, that is a good working pick. I was kind of open for Silk Touch, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. This will do it for now, because that's gonna be a great working pick we can use underground. I've gotta re-enchant that shovel here soon, too. I'll tell you what though, folks, I cannot get this rain to go away, and things are gonna look a little rough here on the screen for a little while, so I think I'm gonna dive down into the caves and do a bit of mining. Let's just see what we can find. Well, the rain doesn't seem to want to go away. I grabbed ourselves a little bit of the spruce plank action so we can do some stuff. No enderman have put blocks over the water source down here, so let's drop all the way on down. And my friends, it is time for us to get a little bit of mining done. I think I'm gonna put 30 minutes on the clock and see how much I can find. We've already got some coal on the ceiling. Great start. Oh, we found an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, um, do we go in there and poke our head around a little bit? Just maybe a little bit of poking of the head around? Nothing really too scary in here so far. That's good. Uh, maybe we can actually find some riches in here. That could be quite nice. Or death. Or we find death. I feel like we're pretty far down underground, so we shouldn't find too many mobs in here right now because everything would have already spawned above us, so that can turn out in our favor. I like to break out all these just in case there's a creeper hiding behind one of them. It's happened to me before, and uh, it was terrifying. We got a luckily see three book, though. Oh, that's going to be amazing for the fishing rod. And more beetroot seeds to grow our field. Heck yeah. I'm hearing lots of baby spiders, though, so uh, I'm a little worried by what's around me right now. I think they're all right behind that wall. Ooh, okay, let's keep going. I see some diamonds down at the end of the tunnel. Two sets of diamonds! Oh my gosh, great find. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Where are all those spiders at? They were probably around here somewhere. 12 diamonds down so far. That's looking pretty mighty fine. And then what do we have down this way? Uh, baby spiders. We have baby spiders. That's what we have down this tunnel. Oh god, it got me. It got me. Oh, I hate them. I hate them so much. There's another one coming, there's another one coming, there's another one coming, there's another one coming! They can get over- I hate that they can get over the water because they jump! There's another one down there. Oh god, I want those diamonds! There's a good way we can get to them right here. I don't think they can squeeze between that fence. We can use this to light up the area real well. Oh, good. Can't get me back here, little dudes. Almost got rid of all of the babies at this point, and there should be one more right over here somewhere. I'm staying behind this fence for as long as I can. There's one right down there, okay. Go into the next fence. Oh, they've spread everywhere. The spiders are completely investing the cave. Oh, it literally just walked by me. Maybe we do need a diamond sword here soon. Maybe these diamonds go towards a nice sword for us. I know there's one right back in here. Where are you? All right, that's everything back there. This should now be mob proof. Nothing should be able to spawn in there. There's too much light back there, but we got these guys to worry about. Oh, there's three of them. Oh my God, there's so many. I think that right there is all of the baby spiders. Oh, that was, no, 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 no. I hate them. I hate them so much. That was a nice little fun and uh, definitely stress-free adventure inside of a mine shaft. Let's, uh, let's go back to the strip mining. Drop everything back off in the center and do some more mining. This seems like a great little spot. Time to do the same thing again. Ooh, iron. I'm thinking that's a pretty good point to call it. We're back up to level 30, which is pretty awesome. We got a lot of cobblestone that I smelt down to some stone. We've got 26 more diamonds, and that is awesome. We were able to get so much stuff while we we're in there. I think what I can do here to maybe bring a little bit of that cobble up is combine those guys in, and then also let's combine those guys in. Yep, three stacks can come with us right here. And would you look at that? The rain is gone. Oh, it's so nice up here. It's so nice. And the beetroot still has not grown. Ooh, one of them actually grew. One beetroot grew. And I've got four more seeds. We can expand the field. Bringing ourselves up to 50 diamonds. That is absolutely awesome. But we've got a few things to enchant here. Is one, we need to make a sword. We need a new axe. And I need to enchant this chest piece. But I also want to see what we can roll on the helmet. And maybe even a book. Let's take a book. We're going to have a lot of different things we can try out here. 
Diamond sword for the first time ever. Gonna make that guy right there, which is pretty sweet. And let's go see what we can get. It's nighttime. Smite four on the sword, not my favorite. Fire protection four on the helmet, again, not the favorite. And the chest piece is gonna roll on breaking three. The bow would give us infinity. And the book would give us efficiency four. That is really tempting. I think I'm gonna go with the infinity bow to be honest here, folks. That's okay with me, infinity unbreaking three bow. We just gotta put power on it and that thing is actually le pretty legit. Now for the extremely important task at hand, uh, planting down another field. First and foremost, we gotta get these beetroot seeds down. There we go, that'll do perfectly for those guys. And the next thing I wanna do is those lilacs right up there. We've been using the peonies a lot as a form of decoration around this place. So I was thinking a field of lilacs could be quite beautiful. Now that we've got all the bone meal in the world, we just get to stand here and make so many lilacs. It's great. I like the idea of connecting a road up to the village down the road down that way. Well, down the way, there's no road to go down yet. Even if we don't do anything to the village, it's kind of cool to have that connected to our world, you know? But what else we can do is come in right over here is start planting down a bunch of these lilacs. So the way I wanna do it is probably keep a line going about right there. And then we grab these guys and we just start doing these two to three block wide diagonal lines with them. Just really, really strong lines. And we can end it about right back up here. Then what we do from this point is we come over about another two to three blocks. There's a little bit of room in between and it looks makes it look like there's a row of flowers. Instead of just a giant blob of lilacs, we wanna give them a little bit more character because the farmland has obviously the farmland underneath it and then the crops on top look very much like they're meant to be there as a man place thing or a person place thing. I've got a bunch of rows of the flowers in here and let's take a look at it from up above. I love that pop of color that we get over here now. I've got a little over a stack more of these ones here. So let's see how busy it looks from the bottom. And do we wanna do more? Maybe I do one more row over here, just finishing our way along the road. I love this type of field here because it's one that you never have to touch ever again unless you want to come and bone meal the front plant to make some more of them. But outside of that, there's absolutely no reason to touch this thing. I think the fire watch tower over here is going to be a great spot to look back at it from. So I'm super curious to see what it looks like. Hopefully we're not staring into a spruce slab. And uh, just like that, we're staring into a spruce slab. Perfect. Nah, right over here. Look at that. Oh, I love that. That looks so good with everything in here. Look at this view, everybody. Oh, it's magical. I'm so happy with this. I can't wait to get all of this stuff figured out with more farmland coming down to the waterway. It's going to be so good. I know we have a very important task ahead of ourselves today of getting that villager breeder up, but even more importantly, we can take this sign down because dang it, we did survive the nether. We've survived the nether twice now, and I've got a few things in my inventory over here for a few little bits of decoration that we can do. I love the little rock that we built right over there, and I was thinking we could build one right over here too. I know, it's amazing. We can build rocks in Minecraft. And just like that, bam, we have rock. Actually, I think with this one, I'm gonna do another stair right there to help smooth it over. I felt like we had brought the leaves all the way down on this far side over here for the potatoes, and I didn't really do much as far as bringing them down for the lilac field either. Well, they just didn't really exist. So I figured today, right now, we could tackle it while we're still on the project. I think it'll help make this feel a bit more like a field than it otherwise did as well. Nothing too extreme, of course, but just a little something right in there to help guide ourselves along and actually being able to put a border on the field without having a very harsh line like we have with the farmland blocks over here. And while I'm at it, I might as well help this section out with a few more of these leaves as well. I had a few extra bits of stone on me, so I decided to throw a tiny rock in over here where this pathway comes around as well, help guide ourselves along there too. And oh, it's looking so good over here. I've got to get a few blocks together for ourselves to jump on over to the moosh land. And we've got to set up the villager breeder and we've got to start working towards that villager trading hall that I really want to get done. I have been getting everything together here. The sun is setting and this lovely guy appeared. What do you got for me? Ooh, you sell glowstone. I just went in the nether to get my own, but thanks so much, dude. But what I'm really interested in these guys right here, because they can do the same thing our mule can and hold a chest. So if we can get rid of the traitor, we could get these ones to be our friends. Now, 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 where did you guys go? How can we do this without making you two mad at me and we only get rid of this guy? Wait, no, no, stop walking. I just want to give you a nice hug or something. 
Oh no, you caught on fire. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, I'm so sorry you caught on fire. Oh god, it keeps happening. Oh my god, this is terrible. What are we gonna do? Llama, somebody put him out. Somebody go get a bucket of water. Somebody save him. Oh my god, it happened again. What is this? What is- Oh no, you guys lost your owner. Hey! How we doing? Good to see y'all. I heard you needed a new home. You want to go to a safe place of a mushroom island? No fire exists there. Oh, they both said yes. They both love me. Oh, joy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need you to come in here. Get that lead back. You're staying in there so you can't die in berry bushes like your previous friends. And new guy, you are coming with me because now you've got three inventory slots. How many does your friend have? Ooh, he has nine slots. Okay, you're coming with us. I'm just going to do a quick swap -a Probably not the most needed thing in the world, but he can bring some goodies for us. That'll be great. It's time for an adventure. Let's go. Chicken is coming as well. Please, careful of the berry bushes. I need you to make the journey. You have a lot of precious resources. You, my llama friend, need to get in this here boat. Perfect, and I need that lead back. Let's go! Mobile storage at its best. The ship is fading off into the fog behind us, and right in front of us here is Mooshland. Ooh, I'm loving it. It's gonna be so good. Now, I believe right back in there, behind those dirt blocks, is where we left the villagers. So that's gonna be great. I think we can go check on them real fast. Make sure they're still in here. That's probably a very important thing to this project for today. No, that, that was not it. Ah, oh, yes, there we are. How we doing? Two villagers still in there. Hi, buddies. How we doing today? Great to see you all. Good to see you all. How's it going? You don't seem to like me. Neither of you seem to like me right now. What would I ever have done to make you mad? Come on. I'm transporting you here to the safest of safe islands where we can start a civilization together. But I need you two bought in on this as well. Now, I decided to spend a little bit of time in Photoshop going way high into the sky and loosely planned out how I want the terrain to look inside of this area. And boy, do I have an awesome idea. It's quite ambitious, if I do say so myself, of pretty much everything down at the mycelium layer here on the shore edge is more or less going to be underneath the terrain. Everything else we're going to be building is going pretty high into the sky. So I was thinking on the mushroom level here with all the mycelium, that's where we start doing a little bit of building. How, how does that sound, buddy? Now, my goal out of this one is to not completely remove the mushrooms off of the island, but I think it's going to be something that we need to tone back quite a bit in order to turn them into something really cool. And I forgot the hoe. We're making a wooden one. Nope, we're making a cobblestone one because I brought this stuff with me. Yep, there we go. Starting off here by making a nine by nine box so we can have a little bit of a border and stop all of the mycelium from spreading onto some dirt that we're gonna be placing down up here. I think it might be best to place them in and instantly turn them into farmland because it turns into mycelium. That's just gonna be a pain in the butt. Quickly getting some water down and we can start to hoe these guys and all we gotta do is, oop, nope, we just gotta do this, okay. There we go, everything is down now, and I want to use some carrots for this one since I think it's probably the best one we can use. Potatoes have the chance of the poisonous potatoes, so I think this might be a little bit faster. Those things are all in. There we got to do a composter there in the center so a villager can have a job, and a glowstone block on top of that. And that is pretty much the entire farm, and now we just got to lock villagers inside of here. I thought bringing in a little bit of orange glass could be cool so we can actually see into this farm while we're underneath. I want the underneath part to look kind of like a technical setup, so I figured we could start adding in a little bit of this, and I do love my orange stained glass. So this thing is pretty much ready to go. We need to get the villagers in here, of course. We've got to get those two big guys all the way over, and this could be a good idea to do that at nighttime since they're going to be looking for some beds. And to help with that, I brought some wool over that we can use for some white beds right in here, and I'm going to place them kind of leap frogging to get our villagers all the way inside of the spot so we need to have bed and a bed inside of here and i think they'll be able to interact with those enough to at least want to run towards them and now in the dead of night in a minecraft hardcore world let's rope in some villagers yeah that's always the easiest thing to do let's do it at night in hardcore okay guys you like this bed i've got a bed i've got a bed look at me i know you're not following me for the bed but we could make that happen huh no, that's not it. Guys, bed. Beds. 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 Yes, leapfrog the beds. Look at that bed all the way up there. Yeah, you, you got the sparkle in your eye. You're like, ooh, a good night's sleep. Nope. 
You know, you could just not walk over your buddy. That would be kind of nice. Maybe, yeah, I know, it's fine. It's You guys are loving, loving, kind friends who spent many a day in a cave together and I'm sure did not bicker at all. We're almost there, we're almost there. Look at that nice bright spot around the corner. Yeah, let's all go over there. And now let's see if those two beds on the inside are gonna attract them. Yes, ooh, look at that, look at those two beds right inside that nice box. Mm-hmm, yep. Maybe they have to be down on the ground. We can, we can do that, I can do that for you guys. It worked, oh, it worked, oh, it worked. Making a quick trap door, entrance and exit for ourselves so we can get in and out and the villagers will stay inside, but the babies can run out. That's the goal here, everybody. Is, uh, oh, the day is starting here, so let's break these beds. Come on, rise and shine, wakey wakey, eggs and carrots. Now for the fun part of where are we going to be transporting all of these baby villagers that come out of there. Well, we've got to take them out this way and we got to drop them down a little bit of a pit, but we have to convince the baby villagers that they want to leave the safe haven of their nice little carrot pasture. Now, I'll be honest, everybody, the idea of having villagers inside of structures and everything like that above ground seems pretty cool to me. But after we've been doing that in the Amplified world, man, it has been a headache to deal with getting villagers up and down and keeping them alive and everything like that. So I figure with the hardcore world here, we could go a little bit of an easier route. I wanted to have villagers that we designated as city living villagers, the ones that we don't care about. We're not gonna trade with them. They're just gonna do their thing above ground in our nice city that we're gonna be building. But everything else that we have, we're gonna be having our functional villagers as well like these two right back in there, as well as adding some more trading halls and things, an entire underground network that we could turn into an awesome villager production, auto farm production area, that could be super fun, and so we need to get them down there to be able to do that. So the baby villagers are gonna come through here, see a bunch of beds that we'll place down on that side momentarily, and be like, oh my gosh, it's trapdoors, that exists, I can walk over that. And then we'll be like, nope, trapdoors are open, they fall all the way down here, land in the water, go on a little bit of a roller coaster ride down here onto a cobblestone wall. We're then right back in here, we're gonna have a sign situated right like that, and then I believe I wanna actually keep that one closed. So basically, baby will come in here, he'll grow to an adult, his head will appear inside this water, adult will be like, I can swim, and then he'll go up, and then he'll be up in this point and inside of this new water stream for us. Now the villagers will have a nice little wall inside of here where they can stare at some cobblestone or some spruce and we've got a glass roof in the top so we can actually keep track of how many are inside of here. But that should be pretty good for the villager breeder. Let's get these beds down and see if any babies appear. I think all we need to do is place them right in there and that should be totally fine. Since we're waiting for the villagers to start breeding, I figured we could give them some nice scenery over on this side, right? How about some nice grass? Remind you of home, huh? I've only got a few blocks for you, but you know what? This might be able to help out here, right? We're gonna slowly combat this mycelium. Don't you worry, this will be around us. You just gotta help me out here, buddies. Start having a little bit of fun with the build here as we are waiting away for some villagers to be popping out. I ended up moving our beds one block closer and actually moving this whole gap thing back in here one block closer. But I've got this kind of archway thing rocking up here and I like it. I think it's turning out kind of cool. Just added some extra life and detail into the build of just something fun. Something that I'm just kind of randomly coming up with an archway over here. I really want to try working with a lot of different shapes as we're building up this stuff because I think shapes are just really appealing to me right now and just a lots of cool curves i'm very happy with my minecraft builds but i feel like i've been a little bit of a slump recently when it comes to coming up with something new or coming up with something that i really like like i think they look cool but i'm never really like oh wow that is an amazing one so now we start a new journey on how can we get to, back to that oh wow that's an amazing minecraft build and i'm hoping we can do that through the city that we're developing here Finished a fun little design around the structure here and I just saw some hearts appearing. We might be witnessing our first inhabitant of Mooshland born on Mooshland. The carrots are going back and forth. There's a Nova puppy running around my office. If you hear any puppy paws going all the way around, but come on, let's do it. We can't miss this. Distractions or not, we are a go. Look at those eyes. Look at the intent behind those eyes. They've deeply locked their eyes together. Their noses are locked together too. <gasps> the noses are fully locked. There's a flat line on the noses. It's time, please. All of your carrots are fully grown. What is wrong? Oh, they've backed away. Oh no. 
I will continue to watch and monitor the situation. Don't mind me, everybody. Just gathering some carrots for y'all. Just gonna help this situation along, okay? I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Anything you need, you let me know. Stack of carrots, I got you. This farmer really likes carrots, so there we go. First emerald. No, actually, we've done that before. Just kidding. Here's four more carrots. <laughs> the love hearts are going bright and shiny in the morning sunlight. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. They love each other. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Look at all that love. <gasps> the first baby. There it is. Proof. Proof right here. We have a baby. Any moment now, he is going to try and get to this here bed, and he's down in the system. Goodbye forever. Just kidding. You're right down there. Look at you. You're adorable. Look at him. He's adorable. So he's going to grow up, and he'll end up right in that corner. It's great. The next very important thing we're going to need inside of this world here is a bunch of bulls. Well, actually, on this island, just one bull. Because we don't need the steak anymore. No, we are out here on Mooshland. We have unlimited food right in front of us through our mooshy friends, the Mooshy. Rooms. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you for the snack. We can infinitely uh, scoop out a bowl of mushroom stew from all of our cattle around here, which is absolutely awesome. Our villager breeder is ready to go. But unfortunately, my friends, that is all I've got time for in today's episode. I do apologize that the videos have been a little bit lackluster on the amount of content happening in each of them, but I do hope you are still enjoying. We are absolutely swamped over here with life right now between house hunting and many, many other things going on. So I do appreciate your understanding on all of that. But we've got some awesome stuff coming here inside of this world. I'm trying to play it safe so I don't just die doing something stupid trying to rush and get a video done because that would be a very sad way to end the series but I do appreciate it my friends thank you so very much for watching that is gonna have to do it for today's episode so please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy subscribe if you are brand new and with that I will catch you on the flip side